Is there an answer to the cloud problem in Clash of Clans? There are, in fact, many answers, but you're not going to like most of them. What is going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. It is your host, Galadon. Happy to be here today playing Clash of Clans and talking with you guys about an age-old, years-old problem in the game Clash of Clans that we all know and love, and that is the existence of the clouds at the home village. And now, with the addition of clan games, we're seeing cloud problems for all players, not just the top end. Now, of course, the Legend League and above players, those guys are seeing a, a crazy number of clouds, a ridiculous amount of time. You can't even really say they're playing Clash of Clans when you're looking at sometimes six hours between attacks. Six hours that you need to be online sitting in the clouds before you find a village to attack. It's just, it's not playing a game. It is a waiting game. So what can be done? There have been many proposals over the years. Supercell says that they are indeed working on a fix, but we've heard that probably for years as well. So what I wanted to do was go over some of the proposals from different parts of the Clash of Clans community and my personal opinion on each of these proposed fixes. Now, of course, I would also love to hear your opinion down below if one of these five you think is the answer or a modified version of it or you have a better answer, let me know down in the comments and perhaps we can share it in a future episode. So as we move on from the builder base to the home village here, let's go over these five top proposals. Number one, People are saying that since clans receive gems at the end of each season, why not reward players, the top players with gems, and encourage more players to come to Legend League to push above 5,000 trophies? Now, also, another way to reward players like this would be to make Legend League trophies some sort of soft currency in the game that you could purchase items with. And, and that's what I really think should happen. I think that Legend League trophies should have some use. And unfortunately, right now they don't. Would this fix the problem? That's the other question. And the conventional wisdom on this one is no. Simply having more players in Legend League is not going to fix the problem of not being able to find bases because so many players are being shielded. So... That takes us to the number two solution, which is the very common suggestion of reduce or remove shields. So reducing shield times. We've already seen this done. Obviously, uh, the whole shield thing changed when Town Hall 11 came out, when Town Hall sniping was taken out of the game. We saw this whole shield shortened by the number of attacks you conduct. But what about the idea of the higher in trophies you get the shorter your shield becomes to the point that perhaps the very highest league players are forced to be vulnerable to an attack even when they're online. Would this solve the problem or would it just bring more frustration and anxiety to top level players worrying about those big trophy losses? Well, maybe if you balanced it with the reduction of that trophy loss for top players, don't have top players match each other at the very highest of trophies. It's a possibility, but once again, there are problems here simply because of the idea that if you reduce shields, then players are losing trophies, oftentimes just as fast as they're gaining them. Now, suggestion number three, and these are in no specific or particular order, you guys. Number three, bring in dummy bases or bring back abandoned ones. Obviously, Supercell has probably millions and millions of accounts that are stagnant, that are no longer used. And remember, in the terms of service, it says if you stop playing your account for six months, they can delete it. So maybe instead of deleting your base after six months, they put it back into the pool and other players can find it as a dead base. It's a bonanza for farmers. It puts more bases into the mix and maybe reduces the clouds because you've got a lot of these bases that are going to be defending and not attacking. But then you run into this issue, and this is something that actually Supercell staff has talked to me about when I've discussed the issue of clouds in the past. 
and that is this pyramid of players. Remember, you've got the very hardcore players at the very top that are going to be online. Well, I know it's physically impossible, but you, you guys know it does happen that there are accounts that are online 24 hours a day. Okay, it's against Supercell's terms of service, but I have no doubt that there are many, many hundreds, if not thousands of accounts that are being run by multiple people, which again is a violation of the terms of service, but it's probably happening out there. And if you allow unlimited bases, then you're going to get a small number of players that will run away with the trophies. Now, the fix to this, of course, is the reset every league season, so maybe it's not that bad. Maybe you could shorten the length of the league season. I don't know. But anyway, that is just another suggestion on the list of the five most popular suggestions for fixing the clouds. Now, suggestion number four is to change the range of matchmaking in trophies. And what I mean by this is let very high level players find much, much lower level players and match with them. Right now, remember, there's that minimum of six trophy offer you will always get offered at least six trophies as a Legend League player if you find a much, much lower level player. Well, what if we went back to the offers of 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 trophy and increased the range so that it's possible that 6,000, 6,500 trophy players could find those players down closer to 4,000? Then you would have an exponentially larger pool of bases for the top players to attack, but then again, would that fix the problem permanently or not? It is just another idea. Let me know down in the comments. And finally, suggestion number five. Now this one pretty much all but ruled out already is the idea of turning the top leagues into PVP matchmaking. So in the home village, you would see much like the builder base, those top level players would only be matching other top level players and it would be some sort of PVP style instead of the traditional matchmaking that we've seen probably wouldn't work but it is a valid suggestion and i'm hoping you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think what about these five do you have a number six do you have a number one do you have the solution let me know thank you for watching all the way to the end of this episode you're the true hashtag LFM. have a great rest of the day be kind to other people i'll see you again tomorrow for more full attacks dude i did that in one take i kid you not one try Gally Don, Gally Don, the video's not 10 minutes yet, Gally Don. Come on, man. What's your financial sense? You've got none.